Hello, it is me, Militant Ginger. It is Thursday, December 22nd. Um, two days before Christmas. And I am leaving work. What's this you say? Le- leaving work when it's sunlight outside? Yeah, I'm ducking out of work a little early, but that's okay. I, I'm still going to continue working from home when I get home. But I have a few errands to run. Uh, but it's kind of nice. So here I am making one of these videos when I'm not half asleep and late for work and driving hell for leather through the streets. Um, instead, I am nice and relaxed and cheerful and driving through. So, what can I say about today? Um, I had a real tough time getting myself organized today to do anything productive. So I did manage to do like a lot of the things that I have to do in my job, so that was good. But I have really been struggling with being focused and productive. I think I mentioned that a couple of times in the previous videos. So one thing I've been thinking about, okay, so my eldest kid has ADHD, which is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Um, So he has trouble uh, focusing and concentrating and is always running around and has tons of energy. Um, And the interesting thing is he's got an official diagnosis for that. We went to Rutgers University and spent a stupid amount of money getting it. That's fantastic and it's really helped our whole situation with him because um, it's enabled us to like understand uh, the challenges that we face being parents Um, and he's a smart sweet kid he just has these as challenges but for me what's really interesting is it is very very obvious that both my wife and I have exactly the same thing and I mean it's almost actually, there, there are two separate things. There's the attention deficit disorder and the hyperactivity disorder. And it's almost as if I am one and my wife is the other. So attention deficit disorder means um, basically like your brain is running really fast all the time. And because of that, you find it really difficult to concentrate on things because things happen slower than the information that you can get pulled in. So it's almost like while you're waiting for to, to process the information from the one thing you're meant to be concentrating on, other things distract you because you've got extra bandwidth that you can just fill with things. Like, for example, I listen to audiobooks a lot, and I have to listen to the audiobooks uh, at one and a half times the speed. Otherwise, I just can't concentrate on them. And it's almost like, you know, life runs too slowly, so you lack the ability to concentrate because you keep distracting yourself with other things. Um, and so that's huge deal for me and I find I find that a problem because I procrastinate and I have trouble with time management I have trouble with uh, prioritizing things and remembering things and stuff like that I have spent a lot of my life working on systems to improve that and I'm sure I'm going to cover those at some point but that's me attention deficit like the poster boy for that and my wife hyperactivity disorder oh my god that is exactly like her she has a completely whacked out sleep schedule she paces incessantly. She's got all sorts of like little ticks, like picking her nails and stuff like that. Um, and so she has hyperactivity disorder at the wazoo. And it's just interesting because both her and I come from that generation where uh, nobody like diagnosed us as having problems. They, that was just who we were. And it's interesting because, you know, we face the same issues that our son faces, except we never had any special treatment for it or anything like that. It was, you know, if uh, because I had attention deficit disorder, it was kind of like, yeah, he's just not concentrating. He needs to be shouted at, <laughs> slapped on the back of the head. And my wife, you know, her hyperactivity disorder, oh, she's just badly behaved. She just, you know, it's fidged her, can't concentrate. And it's, it's just interesting. So those have been challenges that we faced. But what I find especially interesting is, okay, now I've got that like germ of diagnosis in my head. Is there something I can do about it? I mean, there are lots of things that we can do to mitigate my son's uh, problems with ADHD, but maybe there's something I can do to help me face some of the challenges that I continue to face in life. Um, like that. So I've been doing a lot of reading about that, and I think I'll probably go to the doctor and see if I can get a diagnosis for myself. And there is medication you can take that can help. But I think there are an awful lot of other things you can do that really, really help, uh, and I haven't been doing them. I mean, uh, eating right, Exercise. Apparently exercising is huge and you know, I used to be a gym rat and I haven't gone for ages and maybe that's one of the things that I need to do. So I'm definitely thinking about that and looking into that as an issue. Um, So there we go. 
that's probably what I wanted to say today, that uh, I am going to look into the different ways I can approach ADHD as a problem of mine. Because as I've said before in these videos, focus has always been a huge problem for me. Um, and I've got all these great ideas. And I just need to have like the focus to stick at one of them and keep doing it. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be spinning my wheels, struggling to get by my whole life. So no, I need to find the answer to getting the focus I need to get things done and make my dreams come true. So I will keep you updated on that. And uh, I don't know, this whole like video thing that we're going into, maybe it's going to morph into like, how does uh, Scatty Ginger deal with being ADHD himself? Maybe. Anyway, uh, I'll keep you updated. It's a beautiful afternoon. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.